The Siberian cat can withstand freezing temperatures and have been around for as long as a thousand years. This furry feline, who is also the national cat of Russia, has been mentioned in fairy tales and even children's books of old. Let's take a look at what makes the Siberian cat so unique. What do we know about the history of the Siberian cat? The earliest Siberian cat was first mentioned by Harrison Weir in 1892. These cats arrived in the United States in the 90s and the cost of importation was so high that the breed was relatively rare in other locations outside Europe. The exact story of how the Siberian cat made its way to the cold regions of Russia is yet unknown. It is believed that Russian immigrants carried their pets to Siberia. Due to the extreme weather conditions, the Siberian cat's gene mutated to develop long hair though it is possible that the mutation already occurred beforehand, making it easy for these felines to survive the cold conditions in Siberia. Offsprings of the original cats developed even larger frames, thicker coats and sturdier bodies. According to old Russian tales, the Siberian cat was once quite large, weighing up to 45 pounds. These cats protected their human families and owners. The book Our Cats and All About Them, written in the 19th century by Harrison Weir, mentions Siberian cats and their personality, as well as those of other long-haired cats that were in existence at the time. What does a Siberian cat look like? The first thing that you may notice about a Siberian cat is its thick, beautiful and colourful coat. The luxurious triple coat is probably the most attractive feature. These three layers of fur are the guard hair on the surface, the awn hair in the middle and the down hair at the bottom. The glossy fur decreases the frequency of matting. The long fur keeps the cat well protected against very cold weather conditions. It may be difficult for new cat owners to differentiate between Siberian cats and other type of long-haired cats because any colour combination is allowed, including tabby, colour point, solid and tortoise shell. To make it even more confusing, all eye colours are also acceptable. The texture of their coat may vary from soft to coarse and from averagely long to very long. Siberians molt twice a year. The first time is usually at the end of winter, while the second is a mini molt at the end of summer. Siberian cats are medium sized, weighing between 15 to 20 pounds on average and have a length of 17 to 25 inches on average from head to tail. They are slow to mature, taking as long as five years to reach full adulthood. Their legs are medium in length and their hind legs are longer than the front ones. They have a muscular body with a slightly arched back. They have medium ears, wide at the base and tilting forward. The tail is medium in length and thickly furnished from tip to base. The Siberian cat is a forest dweller and is native to the cold regions of Russia. It is also called the Moscow semi-long hair. It is believed to be the ancestor of most modern long-haired domestic cats. This national treasure is selectively bred and has been said to be hypoallergenic. This means that it produces little to no fell D1 chemical that causes allergies in humans. While this isn't completely certain, research has shown that this breed produces far less. This means that Siberian cats are less likely to get you sneezing and wheezing. How long do they live? Obviously, their lifestyle, nutrition, genetics and other factors play a key role in how long your cat sticks around, but on average, you can look forward to a solid 10 to 18 years. Reproduction readiness is quite different in Siberians compared to other cat breeds. Although they may take five years to reach full adulthood, at the age of five months, some Siberians are ready to breed. It is thought that the early readiness for breeding in Siberians was because they shared their genes with feral cats that died at a young age due to harsh weather conditions but had mutated in a way that they matured on time in order to breed. The Siberian cat also has a larger litter than regular cat breeds. On average, Siberians may birth five to six kittens while an average litter is about three to four kittens. It doesn't end there. The physical condition of your Siberian affects reproduction. It may birth between one to nine kittens, depending on each case. Moving on to the personality of the Siberian cat, what are they like and do they make good pets? The answer is yes. Siberians make great pets. They are affectionate, loving, and are not afraid to show their owners some love. 
They are very bold and usually do not shy away from visitors. They absolutely love water, whether it's a running faucet, a bathtub or a water bowl. They will make sure to investigate every square inch and might even dip their toys in them for an experiment. They have a very high IQ and can figure their way out of complex situations or entanglements. You may fool them once, but they learn very quickly and will certainly have the last laugh. Oh, and talking about laughs, Siberians are quite talkative. They may not be as noisy as Oriental breeds, but they do love to express themselves vocally quite often. You may get an unexpected meow or thrill when the food bowl is empty, or a chirp when they need a play partner. And when Siberians feel comfortable and content, you may get the grandest purring of a lifetime. They love being groomed and would gladly take a seat on your lap while enjoying a fancy makeover. Siberians are extremely active. They can jump very high and love to show off their predatory nature by chasing moving toys and objects. Want to see your cat in action? Observe the reaction of your feline as the nature channel on TV shows chirping birds, running mice or other small animals. Your furry friend will likely try to snatch the image right out of the screen. There is no doubt that they are hardy pets and love to play independently, but they also love playing and hanging around humans. They are kid friendly and would likely follow you around the house as a dog would. Another very interesting personality trait that is found in the Siberian cat is how excellent they are in parenting. The male cats help in caring for the kittens whenever they are near. The parents are usually strongly bonded in parenthood and the female cat will usually only breed with a single male, which is unusual for regular cats. The juvenile Siberian males often groom their cousins and keep them warm whenever necessary. How do you care for your Siberian cat? Everybody knows that cats often groom themselves and every other cat around them. It is a behaviour that is natural and entertaining to watch. However, owning a long-haired cat means that you cannot rely on your cat's ability to clean itself, especially when the shedding season comes around. It is important to groom your cat once or twice a week on regular days. When they start to shed, you may have to brush your cat on a daily basis to get all that fur out and to ensure that your cat doesn't swallow lots of hairballs while grooming themselves. Other grooming procedures include trimming their nails, inspecting their ears for dirt and removing debris from their coat and ears. Care should be taken when swabbing their ears and eyes. It is usually best to visit a professional groomer for a more thorough grooming session. While keeping your pet clean is essential, it is also important to keep them physically and mentally active by providing them with toys that stimulate them mentally and challenge them to use critical thinking as well as physical strength. Exposing them to a variety of fun toys will enable them to stay fit as well as practice their jumping and running as often as they can. How should you feed your cat? Every great cat food has a special guide on how to feed your cat and the proper amount and calories per day. The problem is the cats generally don't drink enough water. It is important to make sure that there is extra moisture in their meals to ensure that their kidneys are healthy. Feed them with the exact amount of food recommended and go easy on the extra snacks to be sure that your cat does not become obese. Feeding them twice a day is best to ensure proper digestion takes place before the next feeding and to make them excited to get their paws on the next meal. What are some of the common health problems for Siberians? Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a disease in cats that is caused by the thickening of the muscles in the heart. This disease causes heart problems that can be critical as the cat ages. It is genetic and often found in Siberian breeds. Since this gene can be detected at an early age, you can find a responsible breeder who would screen their Siberian cats for early detection and screen out the affected cats so that they do not breed with the unaffected ones. How much do Siberian cats cost? Siberians are certainly in high demand and a little pricey. On average, you can get a Siberian kitten for between $1,200 to $4,000 depending on age, location and other factors. The number of breeders with purebred Siberians outside of Russia is relatively low, so these cats are rare in other parts of the world, including the United States. Another option is to check your local animal shelter nearby to see if you could be lucky enough to find a Siberian cat. 
it would be unlikely since it's a rare breed and pretty high in demand, but there are also alternatives and lookalikes that may fit the profile.